Hi, this is my fourth video about humans. So today I'm going to uh, write a separate subroutine for my kappa value in the modified Cantley human. So in my third presentation, I, I explained how to write this uh, UMAT for elastic uh, modified Cantley elastic part. And uh, now I'm going to use the same subroutine file same uh, code you made file and write a separate subroutine for to calculate this d1 and d2 in d3 values and i'm going to uh, get this this part into a separate subroutine file so first uh, i want to define a subroutine file file so subroutine this is the name you need to use that one so uh, at the end of this code you can uh, define that one subroutine file and you can give a name so i'm going to give a name d1 d2 and uh, here in the within, inside this bracket you need to put the input and output values whatever the values you need and uh, another thing is important thing is you need to uh, add uh, the include above uh, this is a statement to get uh, the values integrals, integrals and uh, you need to define the parameters like uh, if you want any numbers one uh, for my case I need three and two so I'm defining these parameters then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy paste this one here And here, as you can see, uh, for this eval three calculations, I need specific volume and sigma r. So those two are my input values, spec r and sigma values. And I'm going to give uh, up, uh, the out, uh, the d1 value, d2 value, and d3 value. And uh, then I want to define my all my variables. For that, I need the double precision one. So double precision, I'm going to define each and everything. E bar three, comma, bar, comma, sigma, comma, kappa. So, but we don't know kappa value. So, because of that one, you need to put, uh, copy paste uh, this one as well. So, we need uh, Poisson ratio and kappa value for this subroutine. We, you need to copy paste that one as well here. And uh, when you define the subroutine, remember that it doesn't know anything uh, in the things you predefined. So, because of that one, you need to define everything again. So, e.g and one two is already i defined about three of it defined then e g three e g four e lm and finally d1 d2 d3 And uh, you can uh, end this property by putting return in. So this is your subroutine. Uh, or only thing what you need to do is uh, take this one there and uh, go back here. Did there the back part and type call. So that means you are calling that one and you are getting d1, d2, three, three values and uh, you can delete these things so i'm going to uh, make it as comment so it's visible for others so i'm going to get spec r and sigma inside and i'm going to get out d1 d2 and d3 so this is how you need to write a separate subroutine and i'm going to save it And 
so here I have that file here so I'm going to run this file So if I if I did a sound, uh, any mistake here, it will uh, show uh, not running. But then you need to go to the log and have a look. So in this case, I didn't do any mistake, so it's running perfectly. So uh, this uh, code is running fine. But uh, I will show that if, in case if this is not working, something is going goes wrong. How to tackle that one as well? So. Uh, Here, uh, my uh, file, this is my, uh, the Excel sheet values, and this is running uh, smoothly, and I'm getting results as well. So I'm getting this result, so these results are fine. And I can check XY data, VD output, and my stress. And state variable one is my void ratio value. So it's a reducing void ratio 2.51 and it's increasing stress up to here. So this is absolutely fine. So it was uh, the same value before as well. So now I'm going to show if you did any mistake. So if you, uh, in case if you put the comma like that, and if I run this one now, and if I monitor it, so I submitted the file. So see, it's about it. It says a problem during compilation. It's because of the, this extra comma value I just put it there. So what you need to do, go, uh, do is go here and check. Uh, this is job two uh, slash uh, two three. So click on this job file and it will say what the problem is. So it's saying this comma is the problem. So that's the, that is the one of the easy ways to capture the the problems you have. So. I'm saving it again. Submit. Another thing is, uh, I could have saved uh, this one as a for material parameters as well. So in that case, I need to define material parameters here, one by one. Uh, so I will show that one as well. And here, uh, first thing is, you need. I didn't uh, input the material parameters in this user material. So I need to input those parameters. So my first parameter is, is 0 0.02 kappa value. And second parameter is Poisson ratio. And then I need to uh, get, the, my, get my input uh, file. So I'm going to write my input file. And I'm going to take that file here. So here uh, you can see uh, after I input those parameters, it's already attached to here. So one, this is prop one and this is prop two. And all you need to do is uh, you need to go back here. And uh, here you will see uh, this is uh, for the properties and prop is number of properties. So you just take it there here and make this one prop one. And make this one second one props two. And take the same thing and to the here as well. In that case, you don't need to change parameter here and there everywhere. You just can change it in the input file. And here, you need to put uh, the properties and number of properties 
both of them uh, in this uh, one as an input file and you need to define uh, yeah, the number of properties and uh, props value as well so you need to do the same you can do the same thing for the state parameters as well and uh, then i'm going to take uh, my this function because i recently generated this file and I need the stmini file format here. Then I going to uh, create a new one. So I'm going to use my file, this file. And I'm going to use uh, my subroutine file as well. And I'm going to run that run. So that's all what you need to do is you just can uh, change the parameters. Like if you had uh, the def parameters defined here and top. Yeah, when, when you have a large code, you need to uh, uh, search it and replace it every time. But even in case if you have something like you, if you have used something like this, it's, it will be easy. So that is the main use of uh, writing a separate subroutine file and taking the material properties as an end prop, uh, props and prop. So this is finishing finish results so you can see it's uh, the, the those are those are, everything is the same as previous so thank you for listening and i hope you will try to write separate and subroutines difficult subroutines thank you